Josh insists this guy, Andrew Peacock, slashed him and Butcher Taylor that terrible night. I know who stabbed me and I'm not changing it. But Andrew Peacock has never been charged with any crime. Instead, authorities hit Troy Grundorf with manslaughter, charges a grand jury dismissed, and tampering with evidence. Taylor's mom just doesn't get it. Josh already described the physical characteristics to a T, and they're both very different. Andrew has red hair and glasses. Troy Grundorf has black hair, no glasses. That's a very distinctive difference between the two. Josh tells us Taylor's ex, Ashley Eason, was just a few feet away and witnessed everything. Did Ashley see something Josh didn't? We want to know. So I went to Ashley's house, the same one she used to share with Taylor, to see if Ashley can tell us what really happened that night. How you doing? Jason Matella with Crime Watch Daily. We're investigating the death of Taylor Williams. We're investigating the death of Taylor Williams. We'd like to speak to Ashley. I know she's in the vehicle. Can we talk to her? No, you can speak to her lawyer. Well, we'd like to speak to her. No comment. Well, let her say no comment. No comment. Josh Carroll, who we interviewed, said that Andrew Peacock stabbed, stabbed Taylor to death, her ex. And she doesn't want to com what, comment. Did it happen? We're trying to get to the bottom of what really happened that evening. I see her talk. Ashley's talking on her phone. Just tell her to come out. We, we want to get her side. Ashley stays sitting in the cab of her truck and calls the police on us. It looks like here are the cops. How y'all doing today? Hey, Officer Jason Matera, Crime Watch Daily National Television Show. We're, we're going to ask, we're asking about the death of Taylor Williams, but apparently Ashley does not want to comment on it, so we're going to go. Here's the deal. The, the reason why she called us at first, she keeps seeing y'all in y'all's vehicle, and she got scared because she has been threatened a lot, all right? Oh, well, no, we're here to get comment. We want to do our due, due diligence and get her. No, that's understandable. Her side. I mean, we're giving her an opportunity on national television to respond. So we're heading out. Ashley called the cops. We keep hearing through this guy. What's your name? None of your business. None of your business, no comment. Apparently, he likes to say a lot of words. You guys are fake news. What, is Taylor alive or dead? Fake. Is Taylor alive or dead? Fake news. No, no, seriously, you want to answer this? Tell her alive or dead. Nicole tells us she is gathering evidence for a civil suit against those she says are responsible for her son's death. I won't stop at trying to get justice for my son. Until then, all that's left are memories and a devastated family holding vigils where a brave soldier took his last breath. It, it's hard being where he was when it happened. What happened was brutal, and you know it's something we don't want people to forget. We want people to know that this can happen anywhere. Taylor was stubborn. He learned it from me. I'm just as stubborn, and I won't stop fighting for him until I get justice for Taylor. And justice for Taylor for me is a murder charge with a prison sentence.